Whatever happened to the Time Attack S4 and GTI, and will you ever build something like that again? So the Time Attack S4, <clears throat> we sold to a gentleman in Colorado um, in like 2013, maybe. God, was it that long ago? Something like that. Holy cow. 2015 at the latest. Because um, oh, we moved here in... No, we moved here in 07. Or 07. No. Yeah, yeah. Holy 07. God. We My opened brain. service. My brain is... Okay, maybe it's we opened service in 20 or something. Okay. Um, anyways, that, that car was sold about 10 years ago. Um, and so was the GTI. Both cars we built and we, we, we did a lot of fun stuff. It's all online. If you go on YouTube, you can see videos of all these cars. We did really nice build videos for both cars. And, um, and then we, we kind of sold the cars when they were at their kind of peak level of development. And, um, I don't know what's ever happened. I think... My impression was the guy that bought the time attack car was kind of like going to save it as a museum piece because he just, he was like enamored by the car Yeah, and he had, yeah. he had followed it all along. So it was very iconic to him. Yeah. I haven't heard any, my any, impression. He was, he was storing it. I haven't heard anything about that car. since. I don't know if it'll ever be a collector's item or anything, but maybe someday, you know, we'll be like, you know, a billion dollar corporation and we'll yeah. open a museum and he can sell it back to us. Yeah. Uh, the GTI, however, uh, was also purchased by someone um, in Nebraska, and um, he converted it to a street legal car. That thing's been getting around. Yeah, and, it's been and, to SEMA a couple times. Since. In Nebraska, you don't um, you don't need uh, any emissions, whatever. So he he registered on the car and he was driving around with you know 750, 800 horsepower street tune on it. Yeah, if I remember, he did a, like a half mile event. With he did. He did a bunch of half mile events, and he went like 170 miles an hour or something in that thing, which is just a rear wheel drive. I mean, it's it's not a bastion of stability. Let's put it that way. It's a mid engine golf going 170. Yeah, not mid engine golf with like you know 315 suspension of geometry. It's a Porsche like. You know, oh, it goes fast it, and like, it handles great. It was great, yeah. But it's just, yeah. yeah it's, a, it's. But I, I, I think I, I ran some mid elevens in that car, and it was a handful. It was it was a handful. That's just, yeah, also very traction limited. Yeah, but I mean, it was like, oh, remember the at the GP, the fastest time, I literally banged forth, and the car stepped out as I went over the yeah. the traps at one hundred and thirty something. So what do we have on that? 42 rs or was that the 45 uh, that was with the 40, 40. Uh, no on the, uh, on the drag that was the 42 rs 42 rs on the drag and then the dyno we had the 45 yeah um, big turbo n numbers 